Well, a little added bit of DIY for you today. Today I'm gonna quickly just paint this kitchen island the navy color. No more patches. That's for another day, because I think I might want to do that white. So I'll sort that out later. But actually, I, I don't know if anyone else's brain is, is like this, but as soon as I get to like big tasks, I'll do the stuff leading up to it, and then my brain just, every time I think about it, gets overwhelmed. And when I got my nice little LED accent lights here, basically I really enjoyed it, but I realized that in terms of like LEDs, you really don't want them to be seen. You want the light to be seen, but you don't want to see those nasty LEDs. And every time I sat down in the, in the living room, it was really ugly. You could really see it. So I immediately bought these little pieces of wood from, from the local hardware store. I'll show you what one looks like. And my goal was to basically just stick one of these underneath. It blocks the view and it'll look amazing. And guess what? I, I don't know why I put it off for so long. I've had this for two months. Look, you, you can't see it. It's just a really nice, satisfying light. As compared to this one, look at that. It's just light central. And if I have guests over and they're sitting down, they're just gonna look over that way and, well, luckily there's a cutting board there. They're gonna see those ugly lights, but not anymore. So maybe this acts as a little inspiration, but um, stop putting off that stuff you always put off and just do it. Today's that day for me. Quick stand. La 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 la. Lay it on and lay it off. Getting that beautiful navy color on. Doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, that's it. We'll cover it up. No more white spots, please. Benito Mussolini. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my kitchen. Hello, so today I'm hoping to do the beginnings of some kitchen remodeling. Just kidding, I'm not remodeling anything. Just doing some basic redeco. So first thing that's gotta go, these stainless steel handles, I'm just not really a big fan. Haven't been since I moved in, and the rest of the hardware in my house is essentially matte black. And so I've gotten replacements for each of these. Quite an easy fix, just unscrew them all. I've had them for months. The reason I've not done it yet is because I might as well kill two birds with one stone. I'm also gonna be painting each of the cabinets. The top ones are going to be a semi-gloss finish warm white to match with the ceiling and the walls. And the bottom ones are going to be the same navy that goes well with that, that matches the kitchen island. And then put all the hardware back, boom, the place will hopefully look a little bit more unified and my own. And this is the next big color project that I have. And so without further ado, let me have some coffee. <laughs> and you know what? I was so tempted to cut corners and just do what I said and paint my cabinets but that's supposed to be the final step and I haven't painted this section of the ceiling in the house. It's one of the last places left ceiling wise. And I'm not cutting corners, so I'm just gonna paint the ceiling, make sure that's on, and then I'll carry on. Maybe, we'll see what's going on. Hello, well, I've finished painting the ceiling in the kitchen. That is one of the final ceilings I have to paint. And I'm now just cleaning the walls. This is like probably the dirtiest walls that I've got because it's the kitchen space. So you wanna make sure you clean them off. I'm using just some light soap and water and then I'm gonna sand them. But you can really tell, like I said, there's a reason I'm painting. This paint that they used is so bad and so low quality, you basically can't clean it in the slightest. As soon as you give it a little wipe, you then can see the drywall. So that's bad. So gonna be painting over that right now. Now that the ceiling's done, I can do, I'm just doing this wall, this wall, and this wall. So I'm kind of leaving the rest for later, but that way it covers me so that I can now actually paint the trim. I'm not shirtless. Yes, I am. <laughs> but I'm wearing, I'm wearing these boys. <laughs> Productive day, ceiling in the kitchen, check. This whole part of the wall, check. Do you think I have a possibility of doing the cabinets? That's quite a stretch, but I'm into it. I had no energy earlier today. I, I woke up and I felt like I couldn't move. Here I am. I am powered by productivity. I gotta wipe the top up. Even though no one will see the mess on the top, except for if I invite, I don't know, my girlfriend's brother over. <laughs> I think uh, I'll need to clean that up. So I do still need to do a second coat on the ceiling, but I'm waiting for that to dry. I think this has gone on so well, I probably don't need to do a second coat on the wall, but I'm now going to attempt to do the cabinets. Now this is quite a convoluted process, because at first I really thought, speaking of the only do one side, I thought maybe I could get away with just doing the front of the cabinets in the white and the navy, 
but I just feel like then I'm like, oh, what if it's open? I don't know. Either way, uh, most important thing I need to do before I start this, of course, is sanding. And even before sanding, you've got to make sure it's clean. Now I've got myself here a little attachment that's a scrubber. So I can basically wet this, make sure it's buffed and extra clean, because I would hate for the, the job in the cabinets to go wrong, because this one's got to be very pristine. All right, first one. Let's remove these bad boys. Wow, I've been wanting to do this for so long. And now it's so easy. But start it off easy. I just want to remove the hardware. And then it was like, well, I also want to paint them. And well, then, geez, it's, I gotta paint the whole house, you know? My mind does not allow me to have any rest. <laughs> Beautiful. It's gone. And this is what I'll be replacing it with. Nice. I'm back to black one. All right, so to give you a quick primer on uh, what finishes I'm using for the paint, in case you're unaware, I'm using eggshell for the walls because it's like pretty good, pretty standard. It's flat, but not too flat. Got a little bit, tiny bit of sheen to it, but it's also easier to clean uh, than something, say, uh, super flat. And then for each of these cabinets and cupboards and all of the trim, I'm using a semi-gloss finish, which is just a bit more sheen, looks a little bit more like wow, shiny, Easier to clean again, because it's like a high traffic area, but mostly because, uh, especially I'm using this same white, but in different finishes, it means that it'll allow it to stand out. I don't have to do as much uh, heavy lifting here. It's just gonna look nice and do the job, hopefully. What a fun sound that is. And if the white goes well, I'm excited to do the navy. How will it look? Let us see, I'm so excited. Let's see, all right. Now this is not enjoying, not enjoying my paint. Should it, should I have done a separate primer? Maybe, we'll have to see. Maybe it just takes two coats. Actually, it looks about as good as the one in my bedroom does. So I mean, I think it's the same material. Okay, it's, it's starting to look a lot better. I, as soon as I started putting it on, I was a bit concerned, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's actually quite nice. I'm trying to give it a nice uniform texture here. Always in the same direction. As Liam Payne once said, one direction. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely need a second coat on this. Well, to really make sure I did this thing right, I actually had to unscrew and remove the integrated dishwasher like door <laughs> because that's the only way I could get access to these to remove it off. You know, just in case you ever wanted to remodel your own kitchen or at least change out the hardware, you just gotta unscrew a couple screws. Nice northern man on YouTube helped me out. All right, I don't know what this angle is. Hello, small child. So this is day two and I had an issue where I just felt like the texture is just too much. I want it to be smooth. I Googled it. Results from people that sell spray painters were saying spray paint is pretty much the only way to get that super smooth finish. And from what I've read from non-biased sources, pretty much mostly, except now I've read some other different blogs and watched some YouTube videos about how to do this correctly. And essentially it's just sand with an ultra fine uh, sponge. So luckily this is 220, not as fine as I'd like, but this one, which I've already sanded, much smoother than this one which is much coarser. And also visibly, I think this just looks a bit more smooth. So maybe I can get a better sponge. In the meantime, I'm gonna make sure I sand the whole thing down again before putting in the hardware. I'm gonna give it a nice little safety wipe on the dust, be gone. Nice, much better. So I'm actually trying out a new technique uh, when it comes to painting these ones. With painting a warm white on white, it is very difficult to really see the difference you're doing until the final uh, product. Whereas this, it's very easy to see. So what I'm using now is just a simple brush, using, using my angled brush boy, and I'm brushing it on. And then I attempted to use a roller that was dry, this guy, and just kind of smooth it out. 
but I found that it ended up soaking up a lot and like removing paint. So I know that that's supposedly a technique. What I'm doing now is I'm just gonna let this first coat on this one be a bit splotchy, sand it down, and then go over maybe with the roller. We'll see how that goes on. Um, but I love the color, so that's good. Time to do the rest of the bottom cabinets. You know, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think brushing, in my opinion, looks really nice. I really love the way it looks. I thought I'd want this nice smooth finish, and I know that personally I don't usually like the farmhouse aesthetic, the interior design uh, style farmhouse. Not really my thing. However, seeing brush strokes on furniture is usually quite indicative of that style. And usually, just as a little thing, developing your own interior design style usually revolves around um, using 80% of one style and maybe 20% of another, or mix and matching little bits that you like, and that kind of helps you um, stay grounded so that your style looks like cohesive, but yet also a bit more of your own. Now, the way I describe my style here is a bit more of a, it's kind of a bit mid-century modern, but yet with like 20% of I honestly don't know, I just kind of have been just doing it the way that I like and not necessarily going with that thing. But maybe, maybe my kitchen can have small farmhouse aesthetics because I really like the way that it looks with the very subtle brush strokes that you can see in the finished product. I like it. No matter what you do for your house, as long as you like it, that's all that really matters. And you know what? I do, especially in this beautiful, beautiful navy. Speaking of this beautiful navy, um, I was so proud of the, if you saw my recent video where I did my whole bedroom in the be uh, board and batten, uh, that was all, including this with uh, Benjamin Moore paint, and I thought the photos that I took for my Instagram looked so freaking good. I was so proud of them. They looked like they were in adverts, basically, for the paint. So I messaged the paint to be like, what do you think? And they were like, oh, holy sh**. <laughs> so I think they're gonna be sharing them soon, which is really cool. It really makes me feel, um, I don't know, proud of myself for, for this. Because part of me honestly feels a bit, I know this might sound really stupid, but oddly like, broken or like something's up with me because I will just do something like this, decide to do it, and then when I get loads of praise, like I, I had a, my post went viral on Reddit for the male living space, people really liked my bedroom, but the comments were so kind, I just wanted to kind of dial it back and be like, I just read a couple books and I spent some time on it, but I don't understand the way my brain works, so maybe that's just it. Either way, at the end of the day, I like what I'm doing. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm actually really thankful that I got this little drill attachment because there was some grease that was on the dishwasher door that was so caked on, no matter what I scrubbed with my hands, it just wouldn't get out. And now, we have the final bit that needs to be blued, and it's super fresh, super clean. Just gotta give it another quick sand for safety, and then blue it up. Check this out. Look how blue everything is. Wow. It's gonna look so good after the second coat. Whew. Well, I'll be honest. After my first coat, I was feeling really stressed that I'd made a really bad decision. Maybe these cabinets don't paint well, or I'd done something wrong with the prep. I read one thing that said, it'll look really bad the first coat, so I was like, Okay, I hope, I hope so. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so happy with it. I can't believe how nice this looks. Also, after two coats of using the roller on that, I just didn't think it really looked that good. I, even like from far away, it didn't even feel like the paint was getting on at all. I just decided to do a third coat with brushing. And now, oh my God, those two colors go so well together. I absolutely love it. That is, like I said, this is the eggshell and that is the semi-gloss. Interestingly enough, for the bottom, I'm just using eggshell because I didn't want to, uh, buy a semi-gloss as well. But I am so impressed with the way this looks. I'm so happy. Excited to finally put in the matte black hardware. Wow, and I decided to paint the entirety of this wall, that and this wall, so that I could actually start, as you can see, painting these doors so that I can put those in and do it all in one fell swoop. I'm a great vlogger. I just, I, I was just in such a, a mood. I just had to keep going. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, so just like the stuff in my bedroom, the trim in my bedroom, this looks terrible on the first coat, but I trust the process. I just have to wait for the second coat and then it'll hopefully look good. I'm now going to put the stuff back on these boys. All right, time to put these in. It is lovely sunset hour. 
vibes. We got, ooh, golden hour, the sun pouring in. Hopefully this white will, I can already tell, honestly, it looks so lovely and smooth and it looks so much better than the other part of the house, which is a bit more green. This one tints a bit more pink. Let us bring it in. It'd be funny if it didn't work because I bought these so long ago. And uh, like, what am I gonna do? I can't return it. That's what you get for forward thinking way too soon. I've got like frog eyes right now. I have an eye on each side so I can see each, each part of the screw. Part one. In. There it is. Well, you can't actually see anything. You're just seeing me screw. So you gotta trust me. There we go. Huzzah! Hmm, I, it, it looks a lot better with the navy, I'd say. This, this warm white and the black, hmm. Hmm, we'll see. Well, I was a bit scared of how it would go, this one right here. However, oh, I do need to tighten that a bit. This is actually 100% done by me, as in, essentially, these that I bought um, were all a standard size, and four of my cabinet cupboards have really weird sizes. I could tell they used uh, Imperial. This was like supposed to be seven and a half inch. So in order to make this work, I used polyfilla, filled in the holes, and then put in new holes using a 3.5 millimeter drill bit. And now I have the same matte black poles as the rest of the house. Hell yeah. Nice. Honestly, as I was editing through this video, seeing how it worked out, seeing how I could show you guys what it looked like when it was finished, just looking at the beginning, I was still blown away with just how monumental a task it was to get all this done. But, at long last, it is. It is finished. Look at that. I'm just so incredibly happy with the way this turned out. Everything looks so incredibly nice. The black works out well. We've got the organized spice cupboard. I, I finished painting all of this stuff over here as well. Goes really well. And as you can see, I've also added these two elements to the kitchen because I feel like they really work, give me more space. Also check that out. That blue is just so satisfying. Oh my God. So happy with how this turned out. And of course it's me. So as soon as the sunset happened today, you know I got some salsa B-roll. Let's go. But as usual, thank you so much for staying in touch with this. I am so happy with how the house is coming along. I'm so close to the finishing line and then I'm ready to do a flat tour. But you OGs on this channel, you're kind of seeing me build it out and you're kind of getting such a big sneak peek. So thanks for stopping on by. I've got a new video coming out on this channel. I've been backlogged because of all the DIY I've been doing, but I've got my living room accent wall video coming up soon. And I've got some cool stuff in the bedroom. That's the thing I should not say out loud. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you here on this channel uh, later on in the week. Otherwise, you can watch another DIY video I've done. Travel coming back whenever I have a chance. <laughs> but, hope you have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>